What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. Here is my review for last night's premiere of HBO's Watchmen, which is based on the DC comic by Alan Moore, and also it's created by a uh, Lost and Leftovers uh, showrunner Damon Lindelof. So there's that too. Now, Watchmen actually like like unlike the uh, Zack Snyder film, which you know premiered in like uh, which took place in night um in uh, the 1980s. This Watchmen series actually takes place in the, uh, in 2019, so I thought that was pretty cool that, uh, now there was parts where, uh, like, what, like, uh, it ended up, uh, being, like, a period and all, like, the, uh, Jeremy Irons storyline, that, that was definitely a period piece one. And, here you, like, in, uh, this Watchmen, um, like, remix, uh, it's, I guess you could say it's sort of a secret to the comics, uh, and it takes place like an alternate universe where, you got this, Robert Reffer is actually president of the United States. I mean, yeah, and there's also uh, vigilante superheroes who, like, assist his, um, who pretty much, like, assist uh, police who all, like, wear masks and small, uh, squid uh, occasionally, uh, rain from, like, uh, the skies and all. And so, like, the uh, action, like, you know, uh, it starts, uh, with, like, a, um, we saw, like, a, uh, police, um, where someone actually ended up shooting a, uh, police, like, towards the beginning of it, and then there's, like, some, uh, racial tension that happens, there's also, like, uh, uh, a really insane, like, uh, action, like, um, shootout battle scene, which I thought was very intense. I mean, they're going full out with the show, I mean... It's, it's pretty graphic. Like, it's not, like, uh, gory, nothing like that. It's not Game of Thrones violence. But it still has some cool violence here. And, I mean, uh, I mean, in, in this, you have, like, these, uh, like, the action here, uh, ends up taking place in, uh, oh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where, like, these, uh, white supremacist group called the, uh, 7th, uh, Cavalry ends up, uh, talk, you know, pretty much talking, uh, like, people of, uh, color and, uh, clash of, uh, with, uh, authorities, and it's, it's pretty, uh, messed up here. I mean, people get, like, shown, shoot up, I mean, yeah, pretty messed up. And it's also led by, uh, the film is also led by, uh, Regina King, I always keep getting her and Virginia Hall mixed up, but it's uh, Virginia King, who of course won her Oscar for uh, *At Beale Street Couture*, and she actually plays like the elite cop in this, and she also is part superhero here too. And she also, like, you also uh, know that she also has a daughter here as well. And her husband in this is also played by uh, by Aquaman dude Yahya Abdul Mateen II, who's of course, who's of course going to be seen in. Uh, in that uh, Matrix reboot and Candy Man, I mean, I'm I'm becoming a big fan of this Yaya yeah, Abdul yeah, dude. And you also got uh, Don, um, yeah, legendary actor Don Johnson plays like uh, the uh, pretty much the chief of police here, and I quite like the dinner scene uh, that went on between uh, Don Johnson's uh, family and the Virginia King's family. I did, that dinner scene is probably one of my favorite uh, moments there. I mean, sometimes dinner scenes. Usually, it could always be the best possible film, like, films. It shows, I might say. Like, who does love a good dinner scene? Anyway, then... Then there's, like, another uh, storyline that uh, start, that features um, Jeremy Irons, who plays, like, this uh, former watchman named uh, Adrian uh, Barret, who who's pretty much, uh, who, like, lives in a... Uh, in like a downtown abbey like uh, castle. I mean that castle looks huge. Like what the, I mean Game of Thrones in. I mean HBO and Castles. I mean, yeah. And it was pretty cool seeing uh Jeremy Irons here. Like he's no stranger for the DC universe because if you guys remember, he of course plays uh, Alfred. Oh I should say he ended up playing Alfred in uh Zack Snyder's film. So kinda of funny to see uh you see Jeremy Irons here. And Jeremy Irons has some really cool moments here. I mean, there's stuff in, uh, in the castle with, with him, like, 
he even has like these uh, butlers like uh, polishing him. I'm like, dude, really? And he also plays like this writer as well, so there's that too. And Jeremy Irons was really great here. And you also had a few other people who popped up, like you had a uh, tip like Nelson was, you know, great in this uh, pilot. You know, uh, you also had, um, uh, you also had, uh, Sleepy Hollow Dude, uh, Tim Messon, uh, was great in his parts. Uh, you had, um, this actor named Dylan, uh, Scumbang, uh, who plays, uh, Regina King's daughter. I thought she was pretty good in her part. Like, the scene with the school and all was, I thought it was, like, the classroom scene was pretty decent. Yeah, I thought, um, the premiere was spot on, and I'm, like, it was very, it was more violent than I expected, and, hey, I ain't complaining, I do love me good violent TV, to be honest, that's probably one of my favorite parts of Game of Thrones, is the, uh, action and stuff that happens, and, yeah, I mean, this is also, uh, this is actually HBO's first ever, uh, superhero show, though, so that's pretty cool that they're getting into the uh, comic book genre now. And Watchmen, I thought it was a pretty good start for them, and I'm, yeah, I thought it was a really decent pilot, and I'm kind of curious to see where, uh, this episode is going to go, from, like, where the season is going to go from, uh, here. I mean, I believe there's only, like, nine more episodes. I can't remember how many episodes count, but I think it's only, uh, ten episodes. So, this one was down, so we got nine episodes to go. And the end scene kind of, uh, I'm not going to spoil it, because, uh, this is a non-spoiler review, but I really did not see uh, that in the coming. I mean, yeah, if, if you guys saw the show, you'll probably know what NC I'm talking about, but yeah, I did not see that one coming. Yeah. Uh, but let me leave it to you guys. Uh, did you have a chance to check out uh, the HBO premiere of Watchmen? If so, uh, what you thought of it? Did you like it? Um, are you interested in checking out the next few episodes? And have you ever read, either read the uh, Watchmen comics or even uh, seen the Zack Snyder film? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is your C-Movie signing off.